Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori Girl on the Ridge with a, another journal for today. This is a um, design team project for Tsunami Rose for the month of June. We use the um, Hummingbird, her Hummingbird uh, line. Uh, this is a class envelope, 9 by 6 I did a lot of layering on the front. These are cutouts from my die cut. Uh, little flowers, uh, wedding dress, and beeswax to give it that yellowish look. I have these metal corners that I glued on. Uh, vintage lace. It's been walnut stained with a lot of glitter. I don't know if you could see the shine. There's a lot of glitter on here. This is 58 pages, I think. 58, 52 pages. Once a uh, Fat signature, different laces and materials. So we will go, and this is um, just a little postcard, just a metal embellishment. Okay, in the front here, this is Tim Holtz, the flower and the little girl. Um, this is just some paper I had. And this is some postcards I made. And this is just a DWBC or something like that paper. Um, these are Daisy's big canning jars. I kind of flapped them over and made tuck spots out of them. So we have her other rose paper. It's really pretty. Story begins and then just a piece of paper that's folded like an envelope. And this is a die cut um, Birdcage with beeswax and the pretty gauze that was gifted to me from Crafty Irina. And again, this is a pretty um, rose paper and another, uh, just a piece of stationary paper with birds and butterflies. And I just tucked that in. Here's just a pot, the pretty hummingbird paper. And I just ripped out a corner and heavily inked it. And then just some ephemera. This is a Tim Holtz playing card. Or a card with the ticket and the flower. This is just a book page I made with a tag gessoed. And this is also a pocket in here. It's Tsunami Rose. I think Charming Fragments. And then some butterflies I made. Another. Now some of you will notice some of these are on white paper and some of these are on ivory paper or coffee dye. Oh no, ivory, ivy coffee dyed paper. So there's quite a difference. I, I don't know, I like them both. And then just different ephemera and some tags I made. And again, you'll notice some I did on ivy and some I did on white and I wanted to mix them up so you could see they're brighter. Yeah, postcard I made, and then another little postcard. This is just a little tuck spot in here, and then in the flower, too, with the blue gauze and the stamp from Crafty Irina. And it's also been beeswaxed down here. This is Tim Holtz with the, the gauze that I just glue, uh, glued on. No beeswax. And then I just... Tag on just plain white paper. And that was from my paper stash. These are the tickets that I um, decoupage a napkin and then Daisy's rose paper. Those are really pretty. And uh, just a belly band with music paper, gauze, um, wax, and I just... Uh, shrunk down the little ball jars with the roses in it. And this is a little bag that I decoupage a napkin on. And it's just a paper flower I just glued on, or um, pinned on to some ruffly paper. And it's the paper on the ivy. And then this is just a booklet. And some ephemera. And this is the envelope that I just paper clipped, dyed the edges, denim blue, um, Tim Holtz. And just, these are from my paper stash, and that's from Daisy. 
And that just that's one of her flowers with just a flip up. And little two little packets. Again, this is a little envelope with music paper for my die cut and the little ball jars that I shrunk. And just a page. Again, I, I heavily inked this with denim blue. I like that rip look. And it's just an envelope. I shrunk down. Cherish. And then another one of her envelopes. For the ticket. Here's just a flip up. With her flower and the tag. And another half of the ball jar. Uh, my bird feeder. And some more of all oh, Daisy's ephemera. This is just an envelope I made for a music sheet, little gesso in the beeswax with the punch and the ticket and some fiber. And this is her paper in white and then just vintage style, vintage. Some coffee stain lace. Here's just some two tags I inked up that's just a part of a die cut Oops. in a pocket and some blank pages. This is just, I knew it, a little booklet. It's a doily with a piece of some kind of a die cut I use with an, um, a little ticket and then a little booklet with another ticket or just a piece of ephemera from Daisy. So that's just in there. A little flower I made with her po one of her postcards that's just paper clipped in. This is a little book that I made. This is something I had in my stash. This is all beeswax family and the flower. I just had a book page. And here is a doily that's glued down. And then I glued down a bag. I folded the bag in half and made um, some long tags. And I just paper clipped them. You can take the paper clip out. Just to hold that in a little more. And then on here is just paper clipped with another one of the pretty rose papers. And then it comes out. Just something different. And just some writing spots. And another envelope I made that and the story begins. Just some paper I had. Just pick up the black in the ball jar. Another flip up. And again, same paper pad. And some writing spots and pretty hummingbird paper and another ball jar with the envelope. Oh, oh this is one I cut. I didn't fold it. I just cut it. And just a little dream. This is just some extra paper and the cream, things to do. And then I folded an envelope over a blue piece of paper. So that's the envelope and then a heavy postcard so that just goes over there this is fun pa daisy's papers are so interchangeable and just another page another coffee dyed hummingbird with another envelope that i just clipped on there here's a flip up the ticket one of daisy's flowers and just some just a little tag I made and just a little bag I stuck in there. In here, just a little banner with a embossed index card and a glassine bag that I decoupaged a napkin because it went, kind of went with the theme. And then there's a little bird bath I stamped. So the pretty paper. This just lifts up and it's just on a hinge. This lifts over. These are Daisy's paper, wedding dress, and little ticket, and ribbon, and postcards from the pack I just bought from Hobby Lobby. Here's a book page with her flowers, and I just got ephemera to match it. I'm not sure if I like the ivory or the white better. I guess it depends on what style you're going for. 
another piece. This is, I know this is from, uh, this is on glossy paper from um, Charming Fragments. This is a book page with a flower on it. Okay. Big paper and a pretty bag that was gifted from Crafty Irina. And in it, I just put <laughs> a fold up and then just two big jars of white paper that I um, decoupaged if you wanted to write on them. So that is my uh, June des um, design team kit for Tsunami Rose. Um, oh, the closure is just going to be seam binding and it will be in my Etsy shop. So thank you for watching and have a good night. Good night.